Wow. Oh. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Look who is back. I know, I am. I've been gone a while. I've been really busy with just life, man. Life has been crazy. I'm back though. I have a new camera that I'm recording this on. I didn't really have a camera I could flip out and record with. So now I have a new camera. It's actually the Nikon ZF. I've been waiting for this one. I had the ZFC sometime last year. And this is like my dream. I like the retro look. We'll talk about it. I'm going to do a separate video about this. But uh, let's catch up. Let's catch up. So I've uh, been gone for a few months. I've used a few cameras since then. The last time you saw me, I think I was... I did a review of the Leica M11. I told, in that video, I said I was gonna get a, nine, a Hasselblad camera. I got the X2D, the new Hasselblad camera, and that camera was, ugh, I didn't enjoy it. Beautiful image quality, as always, it's a Hasselblad, but its usability was just horrible. You had to be steady, the camera was laggy, then you get all because of the um, I tried using it with a manual focus lens because I love my manual lenses. I was having problems with the um, what you call it the lines that you get from uh, the shutter because it was an electronic shutter. I was getting a lot of uh, rolling shutter, all that crap, the banding with the LED lights. It was just it was not great. So I got rid of that camera. I just kept shooting with my little Sony A7C, which was fine. And then um, I was looking into maybe getting a Nikon Z8. I was looking into getting a um, maybe a Canon, a new, the new Sony A7R5. I was actually in the store looking at those cameras when I saw this guy. I'm gonna pull this up here. This right here. This is the camera we're gonna be talking about today. This is my camera that I've been using for the last five, six months. You guys know I'm a camera whore. That's, that should be the name of my YouTube channel, the camera whore. It is what it is. So this is the camera. It's the Sigma FP. Sigma, let me see if it'll take the focus on this. The Sigma FP. This probably came out three years ago, four years ago now. And I was in the camera store, Dot Camera in Chicago. And I, um, I saw it sitting in the shelf, used for yeah, like about 1100 and he had the viewfinder thing on it and I was like oh this is intriguing something different and uh, I thought about it came back a day later and bought it I love this camera so much that I sold my a7 a7c the original a7c the silver one that I had that's how much I love this camera my main problem with the a7c I loved how small how compact it was my main problem with that camera was the EVF was terribly small. The EVF was just a pain to use. So I didn't keep the A7C. Um, I bought this camera, sold my A7C, and I haven't looked back. This camera has been phenomenal. It's... Uh, I, I, I bought just the body and the EVF. It came with a lens. It came with like a 45 mil lens, f2.8, but you know, I like my shallow depth of field. So I got the uh, 7 Artisans 50 mil f1.05. This is another one you guys should check out. This lens cost me 200 bucks used. It's the L mount version and it's so sharp. It's clean. It doesn't give you the weird fuzzy background with the bokeh. This lens is, it's a gem. You guys need to look at this. I actually just ordered one on the Z-mount for my Nikon camera. That's how much I love this lens. Um, so what's the cool about this camera? It's 24 megapixels. This sensor is phenomenal. The colors that come out of this Sigma sensor, the um, dynamic range, the way it keeps highlights and shadows. In low light, it's a champion. Man. And the cool thing is this part here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even care about the camera if it wasn't for this. This is an L, uh, LV11 viewfind, uh, LCD viewfinder. You look in here like that, and then you can see what's going on. And this whole screen is your viewfinder. So the whole screen is your viewfinder. That's phenomenal. Having the whole screen, this just shows you though, it's the biggest EVF ever. This is an amazing idea. If you don't care about, um, I mean, 
the size obviously it's huge but it looks cool like, every time you walk around with this everyone's like oh what is that what is that it's such a cool tool i tried doing some street photography with it it's not the best because you attract a lot of attention with this this will attract a lot of attention but uh for regular photo shoots it's kind of it kind of gets a little heavy because this lens is kind of heavy it's all metal but it's it's you after a while you start feeling the weight of this but it's worth it for the image quality you can get out of this thing i've i swear to god i'll take this over a leica because of how unique it unique it is i like that with even with manual focusing because the viewfinder is so large it's literally the largest viewfinder ever so nothing no evf is going to come close to this the resolution is not the best but it's so huge it, who cares it's you see every detail for everything you're trying to focus on I've never I don't know about autofocus I never even the um, lens that came with it I actually I think I sold it to MPB I don't know I sold it when I sold my um, Sony camera this you guys got to try this for you could probably get one for like eleven hundred a thousand dollars it's worth every penny for a thousand bucks you're not gonna have more fun shooting anything than this make sure you get it with this viewfinder though I've never even taken it off since I bought this it's been on my camera I don't even know how to take it off if I even tried to it has all your um, buttons up down here on the viewfinder so you could adjust what you need to adjust your play buttons there um, it does video too so actually I, apparently it's supposed to be a video camera but since I can't flip the screen now like this one so I can see what's going on over here I never really use it for video but um, I was going to show you some pictures from this thing. It's phenomenal. Then I'm shooting with this 50mm f1.05 lens. What? You get crazy shallow depth of field. Super, super sharp images. The images that come out of this are so sharp. And uh, it's a dream, man. It's a real, it's a real pleasure using this thing. So, um... I'm, now that I have a camera that I'm gonna be able to record with, I'm, you know, I'm gonna be able to make more videos. I'm, I'm just not a person that likes to have multiple cameras. I just, I don't know why. Having more than one camera just makes me feel uneasy. So, I'm gonna be selling this because the Nikon ZF is the camera that I really wanted. I kind of use this as a to hold me over until that came out for two thousand dollars for what that camera can do it's gonna be it's phenomenal i'm gonna keep shooting in manual focus the evf is really nice the evf on that thing is really nice the screen back screen is really nice i like that it's flip out you can actually just put the screen away it's got really good autofocus low light a phenomenal sensor night actually of all my cameras that i've shot my favorite images came from the nikon df nikon z6 the Z6 had a really good sensor. If it's the same sensor that's in this camera, I'm gonna be really, really happy because the Z6 gave me some beautiful red, some beautiful skin tones. Um, the Nikon D810 had really good uh, image quality too. Um, aside from Leica, obviously Leica images are gonna be the best and medium format stuff. But for full frame image, Nikon, Nikon image quality is up there. This one too. I don't know what secret sauce Sigma put in these cameras. And this is the first gen one. I never, I haven't even talked about the FPL. I think that's the one. That's the whole uh, 64 megapixel one. Honestly, man, I've tried them all. I've had the 100 megapixel cameras, 50, 64. 24 is perfect. Honestly, I, I, I don't see any need for more than 24 megapixels. If you frame your stuff correctly, you don't need more than 24 megapixels 24 megapixels is more than enough sorry i keep looking in there i'm not it's been a while since i've done this just pardon me for looking in the viewfinder just i'm making sure the settings are right and stuff i'm a little rusty you know it's been a while but yeah uh you guys should go look look into this if you need a fun camera that's just gonna make you go out and shoot the experience of shooting this alone is worth it. it's worth the price of admission if you feel like you've been in a rut with your photography you need something that's a little bit different look into this um a thousand bucks used phenomenal don't even worry about the um, new one you don't need it you don't need the fpl you don't need the 64 the 64 megapixels i don't know what else they added to it phase detect autofocus i'm not even gonna consider autofocus with a camera like this this is just for fun put some manual l mount lenses on here you could use even adapt this with leica lenses for example uh, whew, the possibilities man imagine putting um, like a 
Leica, what they call those? The Sumalux. Imagine putting a Sumalux on this. Whew, if you have a Sumalux lens, just pay a thousand bucks, get one of these, and just have fun, man. This would be more fun than shooting a Leica. I promise you, I've shot them all. I'd rather shoot this than shoot a Leica, because with the Leica, you miss shots with the, and you don't have that kind of framing flexibility that you need with a, you know, for, for especially if you're trying to get interesting angles. The Leica just doesn't give you that, because you kind of have to center everything around the, uh, the focus thing but this you could just use the whole screen as your EVF it's it's genius I don't know why no one else is talking about this it's genius so the Sigma FP man I, I, I I'm gonna miss this camera but I have I need a camera that you know does everything I need like I could record videos with this I could travel with this it's very small we're gonna talk about this Nikon ZF it's a sexy camera too it just looks good it makes you makes you feel like a hipster you know you know I like hipster stuff so uh, I'm back, uh, my schedule is a little more flexible now, I switched jobs, so my schedule is a lot more flexible with my new job, and um, I'm going to be able to record more videos, you know, same old stuff, behind the scenes, photo shoots, all the good stuff. Yeah, I miss you guys, man. Uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. I just, I feel, I feel like I've been missing out on the YouTube, YouTube train. So I'm, I'm gonna try my best to make some more videos and just share stuff that I'm up to. I've shot, I've done a few shoots too. Even with my crazy schedule, I was able to sneak in a few photo shoots here and there, some random stuff. And that's why I've, I've used this um, Sigma camera for everything, really, and it's worked out just fine. So. Let me know what you think, man. Let me know what you think of the pictures. Let me know what you think. What are you guys shooting with lately? Uh, yeah, I left the whole Leica train, man. I've, I'm just tired of spending $8,000 on a camera. That's not really doing anything special for me. Um, I never thought I'd say that, honestly. <laughs> I'm such a snob. But, you know, the Leica cameras are cool. You know, it's like a, it's like a cool society. But after a while, you're just over it. The camera's not really doing anything special. It's just a bunch of money just sitting there. I'd rather have spent two thousand dollars on a camera that takes care of all my needs, or a thousand dollars. I couldn't. I wouldn't never believe that I'd have so much fun shooting with that camera. It was just. It was. You know. You never know. I really encourage trying things out. Cause why not? You know, life is short. Yeah, look into the Sigma FPs, man. I'm sure you could find a bunch of used ones out there that are kind of, people kind of slept on them. So they'll probably be really good prices on them. Like I said, I got a whole kit, this with the viewfinder and the lens for 1,100 bucks. So that's a good deal. And I'm, I'm gonna get exactly even more than I paid selling this because of the uh, resale value. The resale value is actually holding up nicely. So I'm not even losing money selling it to, uh, online. I'm getting exactly what I paid for it. That's why I'm actually excited about it because you don't lose money. You just you could rent it for free for a few months. If you don't like it, you sell it back and get what you paid for it. So that's pretty good. Uh, we'll talk to you guys soon. Tell me what you think of the images. I, it's not a lot. I haven't really been shooting that much, but it's there's some there's some cool stuff in there. Uh, we'll talk soon, guys. I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. The next video is going to be about this camera that I'm shooting with, the Nikon ZF. So. See you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.